Ultra Video Pirate Oi. EVGA has now released a BIOS update for a thermal problem with some of their GTX 1070, 1080 video cards. And then this transpired on November 1, 2016. This is when initially EVGA admitted to that problem. They performed some testing and we'll get to that. So EVGA admits that there's a thermal problem with their GeForce GTX 1070 and 1080 model video cards. Some of them were overheating. There's a bit of a discrepancy whether or not there were actual fires, but people claim they caught on fire. Other people claim they just burned a little bit or there was some smoldering smoke but not to necessarily argue over that. Now EVGA used Furmark which is a extreme stress test utility software. Their solution is that they have now finally released a BIOS update which I think was released on November 2nd. I think the 2nd. So it was about a day or two after they made their official announcement admitting a thermal problem. Now this BIOS update is supposed to rectify the situation by regulating the fan speed. It will adjust the fan speed properly so that now as your video card gets warmer the fan will adjust and spin faster therefore cooling the components. This is a permanent firmware update meaning you only have to update the BIOS once. Once it's updated it doesn't matter you can upgrade the operating system, reload the operating system, downgrade the operating system. You could take that video card out of your particular computer, install it on another one and it will be just fine. Hence that term permanent. And then EVGA is now installing this BIOS update on all currently manufactured 1070, 1080 video cards so you don't have to worry about that as long as it's been manufactured after I would say November 1st 2016 you shouldn't have that problem. This BIOS update currently supports Windows 10 64 bit. Now as the time of this blog post creation and video creation for YouTube not all part numbers have a BIOS update. I've included a list of part numbers that have a BIOS update, but there's probably, I would say, two to three times more that have not received a BIOS update yet. I will include a link to my blog post at anacomputers.com so that you can peruse this short list, and then also in the future, you can access this link to the evga.com slash thermal mod website and I will show you that on screen. So you, what you might want to do is you might have to open up your computer but you don't necessarily have to but I'll get to that part. If you're familiar, if you're capable, I'm not being condescending, I'm just saying. Open up your computer case, look for the part number for your EVGA video card. That will be much easier because it's not a one BIOS update for all. Each particular part number has a different BIOS update. As you can see on screen, this part number has a BIOS update which is a little bit different. Now some of these video cards have a primary BIOS and a secondary BIOS and you must flash meaning update both BIOSes. That's another thing you want to look for. As you can see, the BIOS update numbers are a little bit different. So it's not like you can just download one BIOS and it doesn't matter what part number. No. So that's why I'm telling you now that you want to make sure you know your exact part number of your video card. So the, here's a short list of available BIOS updates for that specific part number. Anything further? I already went over that. Then you will download a zip file for the specific BIOS. 
to your computer you will want to extract all files from that zip file then you just double click on setup.exe and then answer yes at a prompt that will start the flash of the BIOS on your video card it can I'm not sure how long it'll take but it can, might take a few minutes or whatever once the BIOS update completes installing then you will need to reboot your computer for the completion of the flash of the BIOS on the video card then now your EVGA hopefully will no longer become susceptible or will no longer overheat another possible solution is EVGA is offering free thermal pads to customers with one of these video cards that might have the thermal problem or that's on their part list they will give you a free thermal pad they will also allow you to return merchandise authorization one of these video cards if you don't want to if you're not comfortable or you just don't want to you don't have to install one of these BIOS updates to rectify you could get a thermal pad that might solve that problem or another solution is that as long as you have a video card that's on their list by part number that's affected with this thermal overheating problem or thermal problem then you can request a return merchandise authorization number and then return your video card and they will send you a free replacement that has the proper BIOS update this is the announcement of EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 1070 BIOS update fan curve for reduced they've got three quick frequently asked questions I already went over the first one it's permanent here's a way that you don't have to open up your computer how can I tell what version firmware I have there are multiple ways one way is to right click on desktop and go to your NVIDIA control panel click on help then system information scroll to the bottom of the details window and it will show you your video BIOS version what you can do is you can go through this list below of BIOSes and see if if that's on your list and then I already went over that Com video cards that are being manufactured now and in the future will have the proper BIOS update so you don't have to worry about that as of I would say November 1 2016 I would recommend you open up your computer case just so that you can actually look at the part number you know what I'm saying but another way is to go into the NVIDIA control panel to figure out whether or not you need the BIOS update I already went over the instructions on how to download, unzip, install, etc. Windows 64 bit compatible. And then obviously, do not turn off your power to your computer. Never do that. When, if you ever flash your computer's BIOS or a video card's BIOS or whatnot, never ever turn off your computer during the install of the BIOS because it's possible that when you turn on your computer your computer might not boot properly or if it's dealing with a video card BIOS that video card may not work a proper term apropos would be brick you may have bricked <laughs> your computer or your video card but moving on here's a list of BIOSes and part numbers for video cards affected by the thermal problem as you can see some of them have do not have a BIOS update yet but so if you want to I would in the future I would use this list and then in the future they're going to start rolling out BIOS updates for part numbers and then here was their initial announcement where they admitted that there was a thermal problem so overall I would say pretty good pretty good I don't necessarily rate companies I don't you know one star five star or whatever or on a scale of 10 but I would say compared to companies like micro crap micro slop even Apple IBM Lenovo etc I think I think they did a pretty good job they admitted there was a problem they tested it they give you more than one solution 
well there's a BIOS update well if you don't want to perform a BIOS update you can return the merchandise and we will give you a replacement for free as long as it's on their list of part numbers and then also they provided a BIOS update pretty quickly now they haven't gone to all of them but you just check out this list in the future and hopefully they will have a BIOS update for your part number adios